time that we've got remaining, I think it'll be a good idea just to wrap up with a few key takeaways, uh, just a few final thoughts that you wanted our audience to leave with. Now, Chad, seeing as you led us off this afternoon, perhaps you want to be the first to give us a few of your key takeaways. Sure, happy to do that. Um, yeah, I think, uh, and I think it's been a good, good uh, discussion today. I think it hopefully has been informative and helpful for you all. I think from my perspective, I think, you know, the big things to take away are, you know, obviously, you know, keep on hammering that California Consumer Privacy Act and keep that on your radars and I'm um, interested to see how that plays out. Uh, look, data breaches and the resulting litigation are not going away. Uh, data breaches are going to happen. They're going to be large, small, and everywhere in between. And they are inevitably going to result in uh, litigation, particularly on the class action front. And so I think that, uh, you know, there's obviously some things where the courts have weighed in, some things where the courts need to weigh in. Um, but hopefully we've given you a few things to think about here today. And again, if data breach protection is not on your client's radar either, that needs to be as well. Because again, it's while it may be inevitable, we can at least do some things to try to mitigate the ramifications when it happens. Thank you so much, David. Perhaps you want to give us a few of your key takeaways as well. Sure. I, I mean, I think I think the the key the key to all of this is is really uh, to protect to, to protect your data. Um, make sure who you're dealing with and really um, pay pay attention. Um, it, it, it's crucial to all of our businesses that you know as we're working together that uh, you know we have a, a good process in place. We stick to that process because the worst thing that we can do is when we're working on a data breach together is actually create an additional data breach. So um, I think, you know, we're working together and really kind of uh, putting a process is, is the best thing we can do. Thank you so much. And Miran, perhaps you want to close us out with a few of your final thoughts. Yeah, so I think, uh, you know, unfortunately, data breaches are frequent and in all likelihood, you're probably going to suffer uh, either from personally or from your from your own company, and that could happen to anyone. Uh, that you know, even with robust security procedures in place, uh, things happen, and perfection is just not a realistic uh, standard to go by. And so, if you find yourself facing a data breach litigation, you know, putting things into context, like tell about the story of security at your company, how you plan, detect, and respond to things, and then from a Damages perspective, I think you know that the CCPA uh, with, with the statutory damages that there's a lot of types of data breaches in the past that because the damages were minimal or none, uh, in, in the face of these statutory damages, they could actually rack up high. And to really scrutinize, you know, that that calculation, those analysis, and with that context as a backdrop, uh, it could hopefully tilt things into a lower damages uh, range for companies with robust security practices. 